Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with me. I'm Mr. Dave, and in this video we'll be working on the October-November 2023 paper tree, and I will be tackling on answering uh, task tree question four. Now, if you would like to check out the previous questions, you can check out my other videos in my channel. All right, let us start with this question. Now, this question would like us to start on placing uh, in cell D, the text n 2 tree text.txt. All right, if you go to your source file folder and what you need to do, you can just open up the n 20 tree text. So when you already downloaded it, just go ahead and just open this txt file. Just um, control A on the keyboard shortcut. If you don't know, you can just right click and select all and just go ahead and select copy and then paste it right here on South D. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove D and then place the text right there. Now, don't worry that this whole entire thing is being merged because you will be able to change that later on in the CSS. So all the text have been placed here. So the question then asks is to place in cell E this text page created by Tarawa Web last edited by follow your name and then center number candidate number as well. So you can just go ahead and just place it right here during the exams. You will be required to type it all out. Page created by and then Tawara. All right, let's click that back. Tawara. Do we have space over in Tarawa? Yes, we don't have. Okay. Um, Tarawa web and then a full stop last edited by okay my name and then candidate number the center number um the center number will be something um different since i'm from malaysia let me just put in a simple 299 and then the candidate number was triple eight right here okay so once you're done, like I said, a date by, and you have all the criteria in cell E, that should be it. Now, after that, let's take a look at the next section. Now, it asks us to place a paragraph break after the full stop in cell E. All right, when we do this, to do the paragraph break, we need to enter the break. Now, I saw a couple of teachers in YouTube uh, one teacher uh, actually used the paragraph instead and uh, more other couple teachers use the other br tag as well now um the best way to do is to ensure you put in the paragraph break after the full stop because it asks us to do this place a paragraph break after the full stop in cell e all right what you got to do is after the full stop um, it's best to check into the code. I use the split view instead so I can see both design and the code uh, together. So right here after this, I'm just going to use the BR tag. Now the BR tag does not require any close tag at all. So if I want to look nicer, I want to arrange this way to look ecstatically pleasing. So at least visually I can see the BRs right in the middle and then there will be a second paragraph there. Once I've done that, these two things are actually in two different paragraphs, two different lines. Okay, by doing that, that is completed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ensure that all the text in cells D and E are in style H2. So this is really easy. If you want to do the coding one, it's also very simple for you. You can just simply just put in H2 if you want to do the code. And then the end tag in cell D right there. Just make sure you place it just before uh, that. Sorry. Um, just before this um, H, the TD cell. So when you have the H2 tag just right between there and all of the text right there in cell D has that if you want to do the code method. Now I'm going to show you how am I going to do the method in the Microsoft Expression Web without using the code. You can just highlight the whole thing right here in cell E 
And then right here at the top, you're able to select a H2 as well. All right. And you do so. It's literally how you did it the same. Just within the table data, H2 has been applied. And this is also has been applied here in cell E as well. All right. So both has been applied with H2. And I think that's it for um, this question in order to get five marks. And like tradition uh, in my previous video, I want to show you how the mark scheme evaluate this one. All right. So the mark scheme for question four in cell D, the text is properly placed. It's a very easy thing. Just open up the N23 text file, copy the whole thing, and paste it right here in cell D. We'll let you be awarded one mark. And in cell E, uh, we have, um, and this is one mark for you. In cell E, we have a mark if we have copied this correctly. Page created by Tawara Webb, the last added date by all of our candidate numbers. So we did create it by Tawara Webb, no mistakes, no nothing. And we have our names, we have the center number and candidate number, one mark. I think this is actually two marks, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is um, displayed in two different paragraphs. And then we have one mark in that. And in cell E and cell E, cell D and cell E, we have two, we're both having the H2 style correctly placed. And that will be awarded with five marks. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.